Hello, I'm Joanne LeBlanc from Colliers International, and this is the Tampa Bay Office Market Report. As we reach the midpoint of 2014, we're seeing continued demand for the live, work, and play lifestyle. Tampa Bay's overall office market improved during the second quarter. This was driven in part by employers increasing optimism in the national and local economy, which essentially spurred decision-making for business growth and real estate transactions. There was an uptick in expansions by existing office tenants, along with steady vacancy rates and increased rental rates. This is boding well for Tampa City Center. Office activity in the downtown core has increased. Residential is growing and there are 7,000 new and existing units. The overall vacancy held steady at 17.5%. Downtown Tampa had the area's lowest vacancy at 15.1%. Insurance, software, and healthcare tenants were active, as well as engineering companies and law firms. Across the Bay, Pinellas County's office market saw increased activity during the second quarter, especially in downtown St. Petersburg, where increased retail and multifamily development drove activity. In the Gateway area of Pinellas County, the office market remained tight, as it has in recent quarters. The Tampa Bay office market reported increased leasing activity across the board and among all tenant sizes. Notably, in Tampa CBD, several office buildings raised rental rates by $2 a square foot from the beginning of the year to the end of the second quarter. The overall average asking rate increased to $19.36 per square foot. West Shore continues to command the area's highest average asking rates at $23.74 per square foot. Concessions continued to decline. In West Shore and downtown Tampa, free rent was minimal to non-existent. Tenant allowances averaged $3 to $5 per square foot for each year of the lease. As Tampa Bay's office investment market struggled with inconsistency and unpredictability surrounding the economy, a sense of caution was predominant in investment decisions made during the second quarter. This accounts for investors pushing capitalization rates down through higher demand for Class A or high-quality investment properties with low-risk rent rolls. Healthcare investment sales were in high demand with cap rates for quality, well-leased product ranging from a low of 7% to 7.5%. As in the last few quarters, the second quarter maintained the flight to quality and interest in low-risk investment properties. Location and management style continue to impact the success of any investment property. There has been some notable office investment sales. For instance, the largest office sale was Interstate Corporate Center, the property sold for $27.5 million at an 11.46% cap rate. Fountain Square 2 also sold for $24.75 million to Equus Capital Partners. Colliers is pleased to announce that we are the new leasing and management team for this asset. That's all for this edition of the Tampa Bay Office Market Report. I'm Joanne LeBlanc with Colliers International. If you have any questions regarding current market conditions, email me, joanne.leblanc at colliers.com. Until next time, thank you.